G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and today I want to talk to you a bit about separation anxiety. This filly right here, she's had about oh, 10 rides now I guess. Um, when she got here, she had extreme separation anxiety. She, um, she came with another horse, which is the other horse that's standing over there that you see. And when she got here, she could not go five feet away from him without screaming her head off. Everywhere you led her, she screamed her head off. You turn her out and on the turnout, she screamed her head off. You took him out of his stall and walked away from, from uh, her, she screamed her head off. He screamed back at her. They both had extreme separation anxiety. Um, anywhere they could see another horse. Like if you look over here, there's a lot of horses in these turnouts over here. Um, anywhere she could see another horse, she'd be screaming her head off. Okay, now you might notice right now, she's not, she's not doing that. I can ride her around in here. So I can ride her around in here with, with him out here in the same arena and she just goes past him like he's not even there. See so that? She's not even concerned about him. And everybody wants to be able to fix separation anxiety. I see a lot of stuff on, um, you know, on, on groups and stuff on, on Facebook and online. My horse has separation anxiety and everybody's idea is it's about the separation. So you need to get him a friend or get him a goat or go out and love on them or whatever, but separation anxiety has nothing to do with the separation. It has to do with the anxiety. It has to do with these horses not being confident within themselves. You might notice when she's trotting around here, her ears are up there, but see her ears flick back towards me. I like to go to steer her ear flicks towards me. She's very present in the moment, okay? She's very conscious of where she is right now. Whereas horses that have separation anxiety, they are never comfortable where they are. You know, when they're here, they're wishing they were over there. I wish I was over there. I wish I was over there. And it all has to do with confidence. I know this sounds like gobbledygook to you, but how you fix separation anxiety is all the way along through your training, you get those horses confident within themselves. You, you know, you provide yourself as, a, as a, a good leader for them. And so when they're around you, they don't need to feel like, oh my God, I'm on my own and somebody else is out there. They're confident with your leadership. Um, really, I know it sounds like it's not related, but that's the thing. I mean, everybody wants to fix separation anxiety. This is probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. She was like pretty darn bad. You know, we just, if you turned her out one of those turnouts and took other horse away, she would run back and forwards there for eight hours if you want to let it. Just run back and forwards along the fence and scream and holler and carry on. And so, um, you know, the big part of this is that you can just get those horses to where they're really confident within themselves. And like you see, you know, if you look at that one down there, he doesn't care about her anymore. She doesn't care about him anymore. She's not worried about those horses out there in the turnout anymore. She's not winning at anything. Anyway, so, you know, so basically we just went through all the groundwork and doing that groundwork correctly um, makes that horse focus on you, gives them confidence, does a lot of stuff for them. Then when we started riding, we just did the same thing we'd normally do. So in trying to fix this one's separation anxiety, I haven't ever tried to fix the separation anxiety. It's not something you would ever try to address. You just train these horses like you would normally train them and uh, this is what you end up with. So anyway, so I hope that maybe helps clear up a little bit about the whole separation anxiety thing that everybody wants to fix. Uh, see you guys next time.